Today, we're tackling five questions for the Kubernetes and Cloud Native Associate exam, specifically under the domain of container orchestration. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Now, let's get started. Let's start with question one. Which Kubernetes component ensures communication between containers within a pod? A. Service. B. Container Runtime Interface CRI. C. Network Policy. D. Persistent Volume. The answer is B. Container Runtime Interface. CRI enables Kubernetes to manage container operations like creating and communicating between containers. Moving on to question two. What is the primary purpose of a service mesh in Kubernetes? A. Provide persistent storage for pods. B. Manage microservice communication. C. Schedule pods to nodes. D. Secure sensitive data. Absolutely, it's B. Manage microservice communication. A service mesh, like Istio or Linkerd, streamlines communication between microservices, offering advanced features like traffic management, security, and observability. Here comes question three. Which Kubernetes resource enforces network access rules between pods? A, role binding, B, persistent volume, C, network policy, D, config map. Correct, it's C, network policy. Network policy is like the security guard of your Kubernetes cluster, defining which pods can talk to each other. Let's tackle question four. Which Kubernetes object is used to dynamically provision storage for pods? A, persistent volume claim, B, storage class, C, config map, D, secret. The answer is B, storage class. Storage class acts as a blueprint for dynamic storage provisioning, defining parameters like performance and access modes. Finally, question five. What networking model does Kubernetes use to ensure each pod has a unique IP address? A, service mesh. B, container network interface, CNI. C, cluster IP. D, ingress. You're absolutely right. It's B container network interface. CNI plugins ensure that every pod has a unique IP, enabling seamless communication within the cluster. That's all for today. Hopefully you found these questions helpful. If you want more exam questions, visit our official website, kubernotes.org, 